Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be um, going into the Asteroid Belt actually so we haven't really done much to do with the Asteroid Belt before but we're going to be going to series and um, I actually saw a comment saying and it actually got some likes on it as well saying remove series and add Planet 9 in and then also go over to Vesta over here so yeah here's Vesta and replace that with Neptune so since um yeah, I really like Neptune, so that's why they put it in the comments. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So serious investor. So that'd be pretty cool. But before we get into this, just as always, many, many thanks to every person who subscribed, left a like, left a comment, who watches the videos as well. Much, much appreciated. Cannot thank you enough. You're awesome. Alright, anyways, let's get into this. So I'm gonna take actually do I need to take a little pause? No, I don't actually. We can pretty much do it anyway. So Let's get Neptune here, and we're going to place it right on top of Vesta, like that. So we're going to put it in orbit, so we can put it there. Then we are going to delete poor old Vesta, and we're going to make Neptune orbit around the sun from Vesta's position. So now we have a new Neptune in the system, and then we're going to go to Ceres over here. And we're doing this in my custom solar system, if you haven't noticed as well. So, alright, Planet 9, let's get it in here. Right there, oh, I love this custom texture. It's literally the best ever custom textured planet I've ever made. And as you made the saw, that it's a few hundred kilometers off, but it's still reasonably accurate in like astronomical terms, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, and let's put it there. So now, if we zoom out here, yeah, see, there's a lot of custom objects I've added in here. I'll, I'll do a whole tour on this system because I know you guys wanted me to do that. So now, if we slow down time, hit play. Now if we speed this up, we're going to start seeing the havoc happen. So, we'll, we'll start off slowly to um, get these things going as well. And that Planet 9 blue trail just looks so awesome. I love it. Alright. Yeah, if you don't know how I did that, I did make a video on it. But just putting it in short, you turn it into a star, stay for simulation, and then turn it back into a planet. And then it have the blue trail behind it. It's awesome. Alright, next. Let's have a look. Alright, let's speed this up. So, actually, we'll also add the asteroid belt in to see if it makes any difference. So... Let's quickly delete that. Let's get the asteroid belt and add it in. So if you cannot see it, we'll put it on flashlight mode so you can. Now you should be able to see that. And actually, let's go old school as well, actually. Let's quickly... Oh, no, no, we can't, actually. I was going to put it on the old background, but if I did that, it would have reset the simulation when I open it. So, yeah, sadly we can't, but yeah, I'll do a video with the old background soon. All right, anyways. Let's see if any havoc happens here. So these two gas giants here, or ice giants, should say, they're probably going to cause some havoc for the um, inner planets and possibly some of these asteroid belt objects as well, since they are directly inside the asteroid belt. And actually, to make things even more crazy, we'll add in a f or we'll add some random asteroids into the asteroid belt, since they would probably be there. So let's do it. Let's just add tons and tons of random asteroids in here. This is going to get pretty crazy, but why not? <laughs> Because they're all going to be in the Astrobet anyway. Look at that. It looks awesome. Alright. So, let's continue add more in. Uh, now, we, here we are. So, we can get a real effect and see if any of these orbits do change after time. So, this is pretty much the fastest we can pretty much run it at right now. So, oh, it looks like Pallas. Which one is it? That, I don't, I think this one has slightly different orbit now. Yeah, this one here. That's actually one of the same objects I already had in here. But I think that orbit's a little higher than it should be. Because I, when I added this to simulation, I added all of its um, statistics correctly. Like, its orbit statistics. So, yeah, that looks like it may have changed a bit. Alright, so let's keep it out here. See, look, we can see that. You can see this object here. That orbit also looks like it's changed a bit. So, these um, planets are affecting. And if you also look at Mars's orbit, I want to say Mars's orbit's also changed. If we um, go on to, actually, the orbit mode here we can actually see if they are actually changing or not. So, so Mercury's orbit still wobbling around a lot. Okay, Mars. Anything happening with Mars? Okay, it's keeping up. Yeah, they are definitely changing, I want to say. Uh, Earth? How's Earth doing? 15 degrees. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Okay, let's actually slow this down just so we can see it a little better, maybe. Okay, anything happening? Yeah, look, so Mercury's is definitely wobbling, but I don't know if that's due to the ice giants in the asteroid belt here. Look at that ring, though. That is a massive ring. You can just see all of those objects just flying around. It's pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, Mercury's orbit is really wonky right now. Okay, so speed this up more and see if anything else happens. So we'll do a few years around the sun here. Alright, let's have a look. Let's actually add some more objects in as well. I may have to remove the asteroid belt parts, but oh well. So, let's... Um, Pause it, quickly add and remove the asteroids, and now let's just add tons more. See, now it's working a lot faster, so let's actually add tons more 
into the orbits just to get even more havoc happening so we'll put a lot around planet 9 there also put some around Neptune just to get extra I don't know extra um, damage hopefully in this area let's put somewhere a little closer than Neptune as well because I actually found out there's objects there's actually objects scattered around this um, area I'll, do, I'll probably do a video on it and how safe actually Earth is that'd be interesting so maybe I'll record it later actually I don't know right anyways let's um that, that yeah that should be enough we may have overkilled it a bit with the amount of asteroids, but in um, realistic mode, there'd be even more than this. So, pretty crazy stuff there. But any of these orbits actually changing? That's what I want to know. It doesn't seem like they are. So, maybe we have to come to the conclusion that nothing happens. Oh, wait, this one's definitely different. I don't remember, I don't know why this one's down here. Wait, it's not even, its orbit's not even showing up. That's pretty weird, but we can definitely see it down there. Yeah, how to get all the way down there? That's like almost as far as Ju oh, that is further than Jupiter actually. Wow. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's keep an eye. Let's actually turn off the trails. Maybe that helps. Oh, that does help a bit actually. So we just turn that off. Well, you can actually see them all. You can barely see them, but if you actually, if we put the background on, let's say, um, put it on a white background, maybe uh, you can. Yeah, you can. If you just look carefully, you can just about see them. Maybe if we look on grey. And now you can't see them there. Oh no, if we actually look on just solid black, you can actually you can see the little dots there. So they are visible. That's how many of these guys there actually is. So pretty crazy stuff actually. And now we'll keep it on the Milky Way. Alright, so let's continue going and let's see what happens. So I want to say the orbits have slightly changed. Yeah, I'd say Venus has as well. I think that's changed. I think it's a little closer to Earth's orbit than it originally was. So yeah, so very, very small changes here to the inner solar system and the outer solar system is fine there's nothing happening out here just planet 9 and 7's orbit shaking as usual so yeah nothing really happening out there so it's all just happening in the inner areas yeah but v yeah if we look again venus's orbit look how close it is to earth so yeah that that definitely did not used to be like that so yeah at least something has happened here i guess let's put the labels on just so we can see and look at all these objects it's crazy and maybe some of them don't even have trails because we've just ran out of trails in the simulation. Is there a limit to how many objects you can have for trails? Oh, I don't even know. Or orbits, maybe? Oh, yeah, tra no, trails is fine. It's just orbits. Just look at that ring. That is crazy. All right, so, yeah, that's definitely looking peculiar. But looks like nothing is actually happening, I want to... Yeah, because we had a few moderate changes, but nothing actually extreme has really happened. Like, we can go to... Uh, where's Earth here? See, Earth... 21 degrees, like it's doing fine, like 15, 9, 15, like it's doing absolutely fine. Nothing nothing is happening to Earth that would be any threat to us right now. Yeah, Earth's all good. Spinning very quickly there, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised with, um, well, I wouldn't, it was a little laggy, I wouldn't be surprised since there's a lot of objects in here. Like, we can get a whole list of all these things. We'll just scroll down forever. Look at all these, crazy. All right, so yeah, looking, um, very crazy with all this. So, how's Mars doing? Still minus 50, yep. Venus is also cooling down, I want to say, actually, since it has got a little further away from the sun. Mercury, 180, pretty much doing as it normally does. And Jupiter is pretty much unaltered, so looking good. And where, where's even Planet 9? You can't even spot Planet 9 and Neptune in there anymore. Okay, if we saw, okay there's Planet 9. Uh, Planet 9 hasn't had any impacts with anything. It's still got 10 masses of Earth, so nothing's happened to it. Uh, no impact marks either. Where's the Neptune? Okay, there's Neptune. Any um, changes to Neptune, maybe? A few impact marks, maybe? And uh, nothing either. So, absolutely nothing has happened to these um, objects there. So, not good. But yeah, Venus's orbit has definitely been stretched out a bit by those um, objects there. So, if we um, pause this and then we quickly go into chart mode, we can actually delete all of those objects. So, we've got two Neptunes, two planet lines now. Whoops, a daisy. So if we um, just select all of these, then we just delete them. So that'll get rid of a chunk of them. So now if we go back out here, we will be able to play the simulation a little easier and actually see if the um, planet's orbits get affected in any way. So yeah, now we can speed up a lot faster. And yet Venus's orbit confirmed is changing, as you can clearly see right there. So the planet 9 and the Neptune are definitely causing that because in the normal simulation, that does not happen. So yeah, confirmed the inner planets would slightly be affected. Maybe Earth's playing little parts of this as well. Look at that, that's pretty crazy. Mercury's orbit slowly changed, but I heard, um, I think it does that in real life as well. It slightly changes 
um, like that. So it's orbit size, it's not really changing, it's just changing where it goes pretty much. It's weird. Alright, so anything else happening? Okay, so it's doing good out there. These objects were good. Set look how far away Sedna's getting. Sedna's usually I usually have it spawning around in this area here, but now it's all the way out there. You can see my mouse. Um Planet 9, yeah, pretty much in the same spot as usual as well. But these ones in here, now that is not good. If you can see here, Venus's orbit is now crossing Earth. So now if we can if we can line these two planets up, we could possibly have a collision on our hands. And Earth's cooling down a bit. Why is it minus 6 degrees? 18? So it's not going into the 20s and 30s anymore. So that is not good for Earthlings. That's not good for us Earthlings. So let's um, try and get these guys to connect together. See if Venus and Earth will hit each other at some point. So it would be pretty cool. So how close are they? So the orbits aren't actually crossing each other. It's just they're getting very close to each other, which is not good. So got to try and work out the closest point where they're close to each other, so pretty much where Earth is right now. So if we um, go to Earth, can we actually see Venus from Earth? Let's have a look. Okay, any sign of Venus nearby? Let's see if we can... Okay, so Venus is down there, so still, it's just there. We can barely see it. I... Okay, interesting. Wait, we're a bit unrealistic. It's down there somewhere. Yeah, so even at this very close proximity to Earth, we still cannot see Venus very well. So... Pretty interesting stuff. So it looks like for now they are safe from colliding, which is kind of a good thing. But if the orbit's changing, we may get a little closer to it. So let's um, lock back onto the sun like that and now speed up again. Let's see if Venus's orbit changes again. See, we want to get it on a part where it literally is touching Earth's. So ooh, what about this area here? Oh, it may actually, we may have, they may be able to touch each other here. So. If we, um, that is very close now. Just a little further forward, maybe, about there, maybe? Yeah, look at that. They are, that is really close. So now if we get Earth, we put it in the right position as well. So, like here, maybe, just slightly there. And we can, should be able to see Venus from this distance. So let's slowly move it slightly again. Oh, well, where'd it go? Okay, we need to make sure it all lines up correctly. Okay, so if we decrease this value, so 299, um, 298. Oh, that, that's a very close point. So this looks like it is the closest it can get. But if we disable this, Venus is right there. So that is what these um, two planets are called. So having two gas giants in the asteroid belt area has managed to cause this. So Venus is now pretty much the size of our moon from Earth. That is pretty crazy. So let's land in the United States here since it's in the nighttime area. Now if we land on the surface here, if we look up, we can see Venus right there. And now if we look at from Venus's perspective as well, so let's um, go right here below the surface and land on the surface of this very hot planet here. Still pretty hot as you can see, 490 degrees. So if we look up in the sky we should see Earth. So whereabouts is it? Labels maybe? Okay there it is. So it's in the darkness right now but we can see it. So if we slow this down and have it in like real time we may be able to see it a little better. So let's put it to a few hours actually or minutes. So Earth is right there. So if we put it on flashlight we can just see it or studio mode we can actually see the Earth. That's pretty cool actually. So if we um, speed this up, we can say goodbye to Earth as they depart from each other. As Venus or Earth is travelling faster around the Sun since it is closer in its current position. So there's good old Earth just disappearing into darkness, pretty much into space. And it's gone. Completely just too small now. So yeah, poor Venus all alone again. But it did have that very close point to Earth at that um, area there. So pretty crazy stuff. So. If we look onto the sun again, Mars is doing okay, Mercury's doing okay, so it's just Venus that's been affected by these um, two objects here, which is pretty peculiar, as you can see its orbit is continually going around. But I think um, that will conclude this video, guys, because it seems that nothing's really happened. See, the, these objects are slightly wobbling, but that's pretty much normal with um, Jupiter and Uranus and Saturn and all that, so it's all good. And obviously Neptune, of course, because Neptune's the best one, but <laughs> yeah, there we go. So... I think to end this off, we're going to put the two objects in their close point again. So, whereabouts is that? So that's really weird seeing this. Okay, so we need to wait for Venus's orbit to lock around with Earth's again in this close area here. So, right there. 
So let's now move Earth into the meeting position like that. And then let's get Venus as well. So let's find it right there. Let's put it there. So now they should be pretty close in proximity again, I want to say. So oh, it seems to be getting very hot. 524. So wait, so where is Earth? Earth? Oh, no, 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 it is. What I was saying, it's right there. So a little, a little further than they were previously, but we're going to have a little use our powers of, um, use our overpowered power, and we're going to move the orbit, or move the two objects together, so we're going to put them in really close proximity now, as we can see right here, so let's quickly do it this, because maybe in real life if they do get close, maybe they'll just attract each other together and put, and just crash into each other anyway, I have no idea, and hopefully we'll never find out, <laughs> otherwise we will be very dead, so there we go. Venus and Earth in the same orbit almost due to the um, two gas giants there. So yeah, hopefully you guys don't hate me for doing this because I am destroying Earth. But oh well, so let's reset their orbits. And now, oh oh, Wh whoops! I wasn't meant to hit. Oh, I forgot the time was so far ahead. Dang it! And now Venus is all the way over here. It messed up everything doing that. Okay, let's just reset them close to each other again. So let's do it right here. Oh come on, pull it down. There we go. It's really weird how the stuff in here works, alright. So, let's do it again. And we won't change the orbits this time, but we're slowing down time, and I'm going to make sure by doing it right now. We're going to put it to a few hours a second. So, like that. So, yeah, 23 minutes, that works. Alright, so, now we can put them really close. So, there we go. A little closer. And then we'll add the moon in as well, just so we can see from the moon the collision, maybe. I don't know, that'd be interesting. Alright, um, let's put it a little closer like that. Actually, just a little higher, and now they should pretty much be connecting. Yep, there we go. So now, if we just slow this down, Earth is freezing right now. Wow, okay. And Venus is very hot. So now we're going to slow this down, hit play, and these. Oh, Earth looks like it's heating up because it's getting too close to um, Venus as well. So now. They should connect, so it's actually just zero velocity on that, zero velocity on this. Now they pull each other together, hopefully, so they should be on a collision course. Whoa, look at that, that is insane. All of those trails, that is ridiculous. Jeez. All right, so, yeah, Venus looks like it's warming up, so let's hit play again. And we did 1,300 years, so all this happened in, um, um what's it, a millennium, a millenni I can never pronounce that well, but you know what I mean. So. Eventually, this could happen. We don't know, but they were very close at one point without us altering it. So, there we go. That could actually happen. And now Earth's spinning really fast due to that collision, as you can see. So, poor Earth is no longer anything. And us humans are very dead now. Maybe the people living in this part of the world would survive. But I don't think for very long with all of these impacts and all these fragments yet. Yeah, I think the world is kind of... Yeah, I think everyone's kind of screwed now. But, yeah, there we are. So yeah, 1,000 degrees, yeah, yeah, we're not doing well. <laughs> so if we just speed this up again, just make it lock onto the sun again. And now we are, yeah, we're, we're dead. <laughs> that whole surface was heated up for a second. So now the battered earth is not looking good at all. So now if we just look at the orbits now, yeah, it's on the crash course with the sun, it looks like. Um, even I did press orbit. Yeah, if you just look at the earth now, uh, Look how battered it is. Jeez, all that collision. So Venus, I don't even know where Venus hit it. it. Must have been near Africa maybe, or maybe the Pacific Ocean in this part maybe. Looks like where the biggest holes are. There's a bunch of fragments flying around a bit. Now it looks like it just smashed into the sun. Yep, yep, the Earth is dead I think. Yep, all gone. So there we go guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and that little twist I put on it with Venus and Earth colliding there. But yeah, it was pretty cool stuff, so yeah. So if Planet Nine were in the um, Planet Nine and Neptune were in the Astro Belt, to conclude they would definitely mess up the inner planets. Well, Venus anyway, because Earth was doing fine, and and Mercury was slightly getting affected. And then if you did see some of the um, asteroids orbits have changed as well. So yeah, there you go. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Make sure if you did hit that subscribe button, leave a like, help us on the journey to 800 subscribers, because that would be awesome. And yeah, make sure you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.